This video is made in a collaboration with European Aviation Safety Agency. You have taken your drone to the skies and now you obviously love it. But before you embark on your next journey, we need to talk about a couple of operational habits that will ensure everyone's safety yours included. The most important thing you have to do is to familiarize yourself with the European drone regulations and this may vary from country to country. They also may vary depending on the type of an aircraft that you are actually flying so be sure to check out on that. Number two is to familiarize yourself with the drone manufacturer's instructions because you have to know how your drone will react in certain situations, what is the maximum takeoff mass and all the other details that may turn out to be important. As a pilot, you need to be aware of the basic principles of flight. And this includes information such as how does your drone react to some of your inputs? How will it react to the changes of the weather? Will the GPS work? What happens if the GPS doesn't work? And this includes a lot of training and being aware of what is going on around you. And of course, as a pilot, you need to understand and know how your drone reacts. And for this, what you have to do is to train as much as possible. If you are just a starting pilot, be sure to train in an area that's really far away from other people, maybe an empty field or something like this. When it goes to your drone checkups, be sure that you have a radio control at all times and you need to monitor it really well. What I'm personally doing is to check every single time when I power up my drone, if it arms, and then checking out everything that I see on my screen. Next off, we have battery life. Make sure that all of your batteries are fully charged before each one of the flights and don't really deplete your battery to absolute zero before coming back, especially if you wanna keep your drone alive. And of course, as everything that we are using, you need to be sure that you do some type of a maintenance to your aircraft. Check out every once in a while if all of the screws are tight, if everything is okay, are there any damage signs on your drone or on the propellers because they may get damaged a lot as well. It is highly advised that the operators are having their own flight log in which they are saying what was the date of the flight, what was the hour, what was the basic conditions of the flight, did anything happen and how did it go. This is going to help you out in basically scheduling the maintenance and also knowing what and when to report. But it's not only up to the machine, it's also up to us people. And that means that there's a lot of human conditions involved. As you probably guessed, you as a pilot have to be in a good condition to actually fly the aircraft. That means that you shouldn't be under influence on any type of alcohol or strong medication. This also means that you should be well rested before actually attempting the flight. Don't get distracted. Flying a drone is like driving a car. You shouldn't be actually getting distracted by phone, email, other people and things alike. What helps the most is to have an observer that actually is around you and may tell to people that they shouldn't be distracting you while you are flying and you need to pay attention not only to the drone but also to your surroundings. And also, again, just like with the driving, you need to be updated about all of the laws and restrictions that are currently in place. And this may mean that if you are changing a country, you need to check in a set country what is going on because something may have changed since the last time you've been there. Report any incident, accident or near miss with a crewed aircraft, as well as any type of a flyaway or an RC link loss. A voluntary report will not get you into trouble, but it will help the community in resolving such problems in the future. Be mindful about the actions you need to take in case of any type of an emergency or any type of a crewed aircraft getting into the area, because there are things that you really have to do and you need to have them in mind. In case of a flyaway or RC link loss next to a controlled area or any type of an airport, you need to inform the air traffic control immediately about the danger. Avoid obstacles, any other aircraft, and don't disturb any animals. Be mindful that some of the species of the birds may be really not accustomed to the drones and also be sure not to fly in the national parks. Stay respectful towards people's personal property and privacy. This is an important step to gain social acceptance towards drones. Be sure that you always have someone's permission to either record them or their property. Modifying your drone beyond the specification or flying on the RC bands that are not allowed is actually making everything much more dangerous. This adds to the implicit risks and makes the drone operation non-compliant and that means that you are also losing your insurance. When it goes to the basic operations, a rule of thumb says that the maximum height that you should be on is around 120 meters. But be sure that you have any type of an application or a map that informs you what is the actual attitude on which you can be in a selected area. Did you know that weather conditions such as wind, solar flares, or even rain can actually affect the way your drone works. It can affect battery life, the GPS, and all types of different things. So be mindful of what is the weather and how your drone reacts to it. 
your drone always has to be within your line of sight, which is by rule of thumb around 1000 meters. And this means that you or your observer has to have a line of sight straight on the drone without any type of binoculars or anything like that. And also you always need to follow the verbal instructions of your trained observer because you by yourself cannot really take all of this in and you need some help. For more detailed information, read the article that is accompanying the description of this video and enjoy the flight with your drone.